Dan from Bizarre Home Decorating here. Are you about to call us because, hey, I got this roller shade, I got this screen shade, but the cord's broke and you can't get it to work so the shade will go up and down again? I have the solution for you. But first, just to describe, we have roller shades here. This one happens to be a uh, light filtering roller shade. We also do offer uh, room darkening roller shades as well as screen shades, shades that you're able to see through and just block some of the sun glare coming on. All can use this same type of control, the B chain control. And so what's happened now is that the chain is broken. And I'm gonna go through with you today on how to fix that chain. The easiest way to do this to start is we're actually gonna take this child safe cord tensioner that we have all of our shades mounted down. We're gonna take that off the wall. To do that, I'll grab my screwdriver and we'll just loosen up this screw here. Should be very easy. And I took the tensioner off. And the tensioner, this one's from Hunter Douglas. Uh, the reason why we like doing the Hunter Douglas ones is this one actually has a wheel here. And that will allow when the chain goes through for a nice, easy, smooth, quiet motion. If your shade's really loud and noisy because of the cord, it could be because the tensioner, as the cord's going through there, it's making this grinding sound and it makes it a little bit louder. And as we look in here, there'll be a little clear plastic piece underneath the roller. And as I pull this down, it'll create a big hole in here, allowing this is what makes a child safe is that when you screw it to the wall, this comes down opens this up and allows the cord to freely flow through there. If this isn't, as when I put this back on the chain, I don't have that tensioner down. This chain won't move through here unless I have this pulled down and then you're able to move it freely. So as we line this up, I have my two ends here. And with that, all we need is we need one piece we have our traditional bead chain connector or the new bead chain connector. The traditional one will have a little door that closes versus the new one, this just clips on two beads. I'm gonna use the new one. I tend to find that they hold a little bit better. I'll take one end of the cord, take my bead, line it up, and click it in. I'm not sure if you heard that snap. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the other side to snap in as well. And so now I have my bead and what I'm gonna to wanna to do is pull this down and we're just gonna be able to drop it and make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom. If it doesn't, it could be because one of our bead stops is set in the wrong position. If when you're operating your shade, you don't have a stop on the bottom or as it comes up, you don't have a stop on the top. That is because you don't have a bead stop set. Give us a call, come on in. We can get bead stops for you or we can get the chain connector as well. And so I always like trying to run it up and down once or twice just to make sure everything's set right before I put it back on. And I'll take my screw, put it back in through the hole here I'll line it up where, with the screw hole that's already in here and put it back on because we don't want to put any new holes in the woodwork. Just use the one that's already there. Screw it nice and tight. And we have a usable, quiet roller shade or screen shade control. Stop in our Waukesha showroom today. We're located about a mile away from the corners of Brookfield. Uh, our mailing address is in Waukesha. Physical location is actually in Brookfield. Stop in and we can show you how to put the bead chain back on and sell you the bead chain connectors that you need. Uh, or give us a call 262-784-2448, bizarrehdc.com.